Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and today I will be telling you how to create attendance in Excel. And to do that we will be uh, first going through a few of the conditions that we would encounter in a regular attendance sheet which would be making a person, marking a person present marking a person absent, marking a person on leave and on half day. So for present we'll be using the legend P, for absent we'll be using the legend A, for leave we'll be using the legend L and for half day we'll be using the legend HD. And here are the names of the students uh, who are in our institution <laughs> and see the name. Uh, Superman, He-Man, Sumit, Magneto, Hulk, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Thor. Oh, it's a Superman school. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we wanted to calculate the attendance from the first till the seventh of January. So now, first of all, we would like to know how many total days were during this duration. What were the total? What was the total count of days in this duration? To do this, we'll find it using the counter formula C O U N T A what it does is that within a given range which I'm selecting as of now it will find all it will return the count of the cells which are not empty so which serves our purpose see we got that in this duration there is a total number of seven days now you only found out uh, now we want to find out how many days during this duration Superman was absent. So we will do that using the count if formula, a beautiful formula. Count if bracket open, select the range from which you want to find that, and what we are finding absent. What's the legend for absent? A. So a and bracket close so superman was absent for one day see now we want to find out how many days was he on a leave again we'll be using the same formula count if select the range comma and we type in l close the bracket he was not on leave for a single day also half days let's find half days same formula again count if beautiful formula and uh, I have another uh, other videos wherein I've taught the counter and the counter formula in much much more detail so for half day we are using the legend HD high definition <laughs> and now comes present is equal to count f and what's the legend for present yes it's p now in a school kind of environment where just your aim is to maintain whether the person is present or not this present would work because we are counting the p's the present days now in a in an environment where remuneration is concerned where salary is concerned uh, this five as the count of present days would not suffice because if somebody if somebody works for us we then also pay that person for the off days that's the weekly off so for example 5th january was the weekly off for all of these people but they should be compensated for this right they should be paid for this so in present if we are using it for official purpose for calculating salaries and all we have to ensure that other than p we also count and see look over here what i'm doing plus count if we should also count the non-working days such as the off so i select the range and count off also now i'm getting the actual present days in terms of salary all right so now all we can do is just copy this formula like this 
And there we are. <laughs> yeah. I hope you like this formula. Uh, to download this Excel training file, you can visit myelesson.org and download it for free. If you want to uh, read an article written on the same topic that I'm teaching right now, you can go to myelesson.blogspot.com. Well, until the next video then, this is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.